sit back, weight into the heels, a little light in the toes, and we're just gonna keep stoking the heat. Working with that energy of assimilation and digestion, take a deep inhale through the nose, and then pump the breath out the nose, snapping the navel toward the spine, coming into what we call Kapalabhati. So you're just focusing on the out breaths, and as you snap the breath out of the nose, the navel snaps back toward the spine, and we just start to stoke some heat. It doesn't have to be fast. It can be at a pace that's right for you. Some of us like a little quicker. Some of us need a little slower. All that matters is that you do you and breathe. Last five, four, three, two. Take a deep inhale for one. As you exhale, float your left knee to your chest. Stack your left thigh over your right, your left elbow underneath your right Garudasana as your inner thighs intertwine and your forearms interlace. Rooting down through your right foot, take an inhale, lift your elbows, then exhale one time, elbows past your knees to fold. It's optional, you could stay upright. Then on the inhale, lift the crown of the head to the sky and at the top, left leg forward, both arms reach high above as you fly out of the nest. Take a big inhale, lift everything up. Hands to the heart as you exhale, float the left leg behind you, ride into warrior three, chest parallel to the earth as you rotate your lifted left hip toward the mat and you already did this sort of on hands and knees. Give it one last little moment there. Then start to bend your right knee, drop step your left toes to the back of your mat. On an inhale, circle your arms to the sky, crescent pose as the arms lift up high. The first round will slow it down, but eventually we are gonna flow it a little bit. So take this first crescent pose to align yourself. Alignment is one of the ways that we know our inner experience is being outwardly projected. So your feet are the distance of your hips. Your back left knee could bend a little bit as you lift your pelvis off your front thigh. And then you notice that you're still honoring all four parts of the breath, the inhale, the pause at the top, the exhale, and the pause at the bottom. Give it one last little reach, inhale, reach up. Then exhale, forearms and palms together, come in front of the face. As you exhale, spread the elbows out, as you find a little cactus shape. Then curl the fingertips in, pull the elbows down toward the spine as if you could pull the elbows behind you, roll the heart, the chest open, almost as if you were doing a little bit of a pull up today. On an inhale, back to those cactus elbows, lift the elbows, the height of the chest. Then exhale, forearms and palms come back together to touch and connect. Circle the arms up, inhale, crescent pose, reach high. Then exhale, left elbow outside of right knee, palms come to prayer twist as you turn your navel towards your inner right thigh. Really sweet. You could stay here. Or on an inhale, start to shift the weight forward and float your left leg up and off the mat. Your left elbow still connected to the outer edge of your right knee, so you float in midair in that twist. Tap your left knee to your right knee one time. Knees tap at the top of the mat. I got you, I know. Inhale, reach that left leg straight back. Exhale, drop the left toes down. Back to crescent pose. Inhale, face forward. Reach up a goodbye breath. Hands down as you exhale. Step back to upper push-up plank and hold there. I got some hateful looks on that one. I know, no one said it was gonna be easy. And that's part of the work of this practice, right? We're not here to make you comfortable. On an inhale, lift your right toes up and off the mat. As you exhale, right knee to your right elbow, one time tap and touch. Then on an inhale, just float your right leg still in plank. Exhale, right knee twist to the left elbow, just one time. On an inhale, reach the right toes back. Exhale, lower slow, elbows bend, descend all the way down onto the mat. Cobra or up dog, inhale, heart high, shoulders back. Down dog as you exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, press your way up and back. And that was just the first side. On an inhale, press your hips back. 
Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or float, feet to hands. Glance out, inhale, chest leads. Exhale, forward fold, drop the head. Bend the knees, drop the hips, sit back, inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Then Kapalabhati, out the nose. Close the eyes, go inside yourself. Doesn't matter who's around you, doesn't matter who's practicing next to you. You are focusing on your practice. You are focusing on the sounds your breath makes. As you pump the breath out, part of this season of detoxification as we head into spring is letting go of what is no longer serving us in a positive way. So maybe for you, you're breathing out resistance. You're breathing out that tendency to be hypervigilant. You're breathing out that tendency to try to hold on to and control life. Last three, two, one. Take an inhale, pause and chair. Then as you exhale, float the right knee to the chest this time, right elbow underneath.